Welcome to the Atrial Fibrillation Clinic. We'd like to show you our clinic and electrophysiology lab, where we do our atrial fibrillation ablation procedures, and tell you a little bit about what you can expect when you visit us. This tour is interactive, which means that you can fast forward through parts, stop for a minute at any part, or go back and watch any part again. Just pull this cursor, backward or forward, to go to any point in the tour. The Atrial Fibrillation Clinic is located at Suite 211, 1033 Davy Street in Vancouver. When you visit, you can park on Davy Street until 3 p.m. or in the parking lot behind the medical building. We recommend that you attend our group education session before seeing the specialist. This session is run by the nurse and pharmacist. It involves discussion about atrial fibrillation and options for treatment and will prepare you for your consultation with the specialist. The consultation with the specialist happens in the clinic on Davy Street. The nurse or pharmacist will take your medical history. Your blood pressure will be taken and an electrocardiogram or ECG will be done. You will meet with the specialist to discuss your degree of atrial fibrillation and options for treatment. Treatment may include atrial fibrillation ablation, a procedure done at St. Paul's Hospital. If you are a candidate for an ablation, there is a waiting period from the date of consultation to the date of ablation. During this period, you may contact the clinic if you experience worsening symptoms. Please also contact us at the clinic when you have a date for your ablation. This will allow us to appropriately prepare for your procedure. Often you will be asked to start a medication called warfarin, also known as Coumadin, while waiting for your procedure. It's an anticoagulant, which is a type of blood thinner, and is used to limit your risk of stroke before and after the ablation procedure. Our pharmacist will contact you to guide you through the process of taking this medication. To ensure you are on the right dose, you will be required to provide weekly blood samples. Before you have an ablation procedure, it's necessary to fast from midnight on the evening before the procedure. Do not have anything to eat or drink, including medications, on the morning of the ablation. Bring your medications with you on that day. You must also have someone to drive you to and from the procedure, and you are not permitted to drive for 24 hours after the procedure. On the day of the procedure, report to the fifth floor of the Providence Wing in St. Paul's Hospital, which is located on Burrard Street in Vancouver, nearby our clinic. Take the elevators in the Providence Building up to the fifth floor and check in with the receptionist in the 5CD Wing. You will be admitted to the Cardiac Short Stay Unit. Here you will be assessed by a nurse, blood samples will be taken, and an ECG will be obtained. The specialist will ask for written consent for your procedure. Although there is limited space, family members can remain at the bedside during the admission process. There's also a waiting room where your family members can stay while your procedure is underway. When the electrophysiology laboratory is available, the nurse will take you from the cardiac short stay unit to the laboratory on your stretcher bed. In the lab, many adhesive patches will be placed on your chest and back. These patches are for ECG and data imaging that show us what the heart is doing during the procedure. From the stretcher, you will move onto the x-ray table where multiple wires will be attached to the adhesive patches. Other monitoring equipment will be placed on as well. An anesthesiologist will provide sedation and induce general anesthesia. They will control sedation and monitor you throughout the procedure. While you are asleep, a breathing tube and ultrasound camera will be placed in the throat. This camera helps us rule out blood clots before the procedure and to guide the specialist in the ablation. In the procedure room, the specialist will introduce a catheter in the upper right leg. Under x-ray and ultrasound guidance, the catheter will be advanced into the heart. A 3D image of the upper left chamber of the heart, or the left atrium, will be mapped using the catheter. The specialist will apply radiofrequency energy to burn areas in the heart that cause atrial fibrillation. The burns produce scars, which take about three months to mature. 
When these scars mature, the abnormal electrical signals responsible for atrial fibrillation will be blocked. This allows your heart to beat in a normal rhythm. You will be in the procedure room for about three to four hours while your ablation takes place. Once your ablation is finished, you will be transferred back to the cardiac short stay unit for monitoring while you recover from your procedure. You will be asked to lie flat for two hours to allow the upper leg site to heal. You'll feel some drowsiness from the anesthesia and a sore throat from the ultrasound camera. You'll be asked to start to move around two hours after the procedure and can be discharged home on the same day. If you experience some bleeding in the upper leg site, lay flat and apply direct manual pressure for 30 minutes. This should be enough to stop the bleeding. Some people may experience more frequent palpitations or chest pain when taking a deep breath or lying down. The palpitations should settle in about three weeks and the chest pain should subside in about two to three days. Over-the-counter pain medications such as Tylenol can be used during this time. Contact the clinic if your symptoms persist. You will receive a telephone call from the clinic one week after your procedure. You should also follow up with your family doctor one week after the procedure. Our nurse practitioner will see you in the clinic at one month and three months after the ablation. Follow up with the specialist will be six months and 12 months after the procedure. You will be discharged back to the care of your family doctor after one year. We are always available by phone should you have any questions or concerns between scheduled visits. We hope this short tour of the Atrial Fibrillation Clinic and the Electrophysiology Lab has been informative. If you need more information or have any questions, don't hesitate to call us at 604-806-9475. We look forward to seeing you.